Okay, so I just did a bit of a longer format version of a guide on gsender and I thought what I might do is make an alternate faster version for setup and understanding purposes so that you can you guys can have like a quick five minute video to reference on general purposes and button layout for gsender. So as you can see I've got it open here and the first thing you want to do is go up and connect in the top corner. So you see my machine is shown up here and it now confirms that I've connected. So now that I've connected, I have access to the, um, the visualizer, which you actually still have access to the visualizer outside of connection. You can see I can load up a file here and still do full visualization and get the details about the file. But once I connect, this actually allows me to now control the machine and know where it's located actively. Um, you can see I've got my, my jog buttons here. I've got my jogging presets, which allow me to move set distances um, based off if I want to move uh, far distances, normal distances, or make more precise movements. And these quick set or these preset values, you can go into the settings and change them here. You can see they're set here and you can change them to whatever value you want. And now that's reflected here. I've got my zero setting. If you click these buttons here, it zeroes the axes individually. Zero all, uh, go to movements. Um, right now, I've got end stops turned on. So if I turn those off, because most people don't have them on their machines, you'll see the homing buttons disappear because the homing functionality doesn't exist if you don't have end stops. Uh, I've got my touch probe down here, and this touch probe is already set up for the long mill touch probe or the CNC labs touch probe. So you can go and select any form of um, setting, uh, zero setting that you'd want to use. So most commonly used is the XYZ. And then you can go and select your cutting tool. And if your cutting tool isn't showing up here, you can go into your settings, go to the probe settings, and you can see that the touch probe settings are the tools exists here and so you can delete these tools if you don't want them or you can add new ones. Um, five millimeter diameter tool, now it's in there. Um, you can also see the probe settings are in here as well. But these come preset as I said for the CNC Labs touch plate. So now I've got my five millimeter in there, I can go and probe. And all it's going to look for is a confirmation that you've placed your bit properly and that there's a solid connection um, between your touch plate and your cutting tool before the probing process begins. So for this step, you'll want to just go over to your machine and lift the touch plate to touch onto the cutting tool so that the software can confirm that it's working correctly. So you can see, I'll hold it on there for about two seconds and now it says touch detected and now I've just let go but even though I've let go since it can tell that the circuit is reliable I can start the probing process so you can see it's initiated the probing cycle um, I don't know if I have probing set up properly let's see and there we go, probing cycle is complete and it's at my zero point appropriately. So if I hit go to zero, I should find that it's now in the zero point for me. Um, yeah, otherwise uh, you can do your load file and this will help you search for G code that's on your computer. And um, if the file looks good to you and you feel like you're good to go, you can just go and start the job and start cutting. And there's reporting on the status of the job. Um, you can do overrides if you want to kind of like tweak your feeds, feed settings or your spindle settings on the fly. Um, if your G-code is maybe slightly off in terms of your speeds. And you can always pause the job if you need to go in and interrupt something. Uh, you can resume it. 
or you can stop it entirely if you have decided that you don't want this job to finish through. And this will just bring you back to the main control mode where you know have access again to your jogging and to your zero setting and, and your probing and whatnot. And then for, for users who are looking for a few more features, you can see in here we've got key bindings. And so this allows you to, for example, use your keyboard in order to do jogging. We've got continuous jogging, so you can press and hold uh, these jogging movements. Oh. You can press and hold these jogging movements to move in any particular direction, and as soon as you let go, it stops the movement. And um, we've got macros that you can use here to do certain movements. So you can see I've got a movement uh, programmed in there, and I've got a confirmation that it's running. And you can see it's just some G code that I've typed in there. You've got access to your console if you want to see the commands that are being sent and you can send commands through the console as well. Like that. And um, if you would like to have small alterations done to your workspace even, you can go in and you can uh, change what side the main controls are on, whether it's the right side or the left side. You can also go to the visualizer settings and change it so that the visualizer has a light theme instead of a dark theme. Like this. And you can also turn on what we call lightweight mode, which reduces the processing required from your computer to run gSender. So for example, um, right now the lightweight mode just gets rid of the geometry of the bit so that it's a little less visualization required. So I'll just turn it on up here and it just turns it into a dot. And um, you can always customize what lightweight mode is and what regular mode is up here. So if you wanted the dot on all the time for your regular mode and then you wanted even more things turned off for lightweight mode, then you could do that as well. So that about does my faster coverage of gsender and um, if you'd like to see uh, each of the features a little bit more in depth i have a bit of a longer video showing gsender from installation and talking through basically every single button or thing that you can press within gsender and so feel free to check that out as well if you'd like to know more all right see you